When the Icarus X-Series race was postponed, Matt hatched a big, audacious trip. And there's the view you can see, a uh, broken cloud of buggers, and then higher level cloud, which is not an issue. We're just about to join the Hume Highway. Uh, this is going to be a great trip. Well, all trips flying are great. Here we are heading up the Hume Highway from Lake Hume near Albury. Uh, everything looks fantastic. Uh, engine's going well, 158 degrees centigrade, 5,400 revs. Uh, there's fog to the east of us, but quite a way away, and there's fog to Albury. There's the view, uh, about 10 nautical miles south of Holbrook. There's quite a, quite a large hill here on the right, as you can see, with a couple of towers on it, various other hills around it. And if you look up, you might be able to see a mat right in the center of the screen just above that uh, lower cloud bank. He's quite a way away. This might be a good time to say something about why I fly. I fly because I can. Uh, absolutely fascinated by flight. Uh, flown a hang glider for quite a while on and off. Tried to learn in the mid 70s and actually quite grateful that I didn't learn because hang gliders used to fall apart then. We know much more about hang gliders and slow flight now. So the hang gliders nowadays are very safe compared to what they were back in the mid 70s. So really grateful for all the pioneers of hang gliding. Uh, sorry some of them had to learn the very hard way, but, but uh, hang gliding or hang gliders are very relatively safe compared to, uh, well definitely very safe compared to what they were. Anyway, about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, started to learn how to fly a paramotor. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Leonardo da Vinci would be very envious. What other aircraft can you have your wing on the back seat of your car, the motor on the tow bar, and it's set up in 20 minutes or 15 minutes and then fly and do quite reasonable flights. My motor is, I carry 14 litres of fuel of which 13 is usable and I fly at about 40 kilometres an hour and I burn about 5 litres of fuel per hour. So we're talking almost, well, 100 kilometers, uh, basically, fuel range. I've also got an external uh, fuel tank, which can carry 10 liters, or nine liters more likely. So that extends my flight out quite a way. But with a standard fuel tank, I'm getting 100 kilometers and flights of two and a half hours. If I use the winds a lot, uh, I could get three hours or three and a half hours. So that is absolutely fantastic. This trip, uh, we've been supported by our car, uh, Alex uh, Smith has been driving for us and she's been absolutely fantastic tracking where we are and being where we where we land pretty much when we land so that's been fantastic 
but uh, I'll start to do more trips like this. Uh, you need to do quite a bit of preparation. Need to carry oil with you. Vivi, emergency tools, all of those sorts of things. But uh, I will be planning to do this sort of these sort of flights. Got a bit of problem with my eyes. Uh, I don't like flying with glasses. Unfortunately, in the wind, my eyes water a bit. So, but. Yeah, that is a minor price to pay for the fantastic view. I'll just give you a, a look at the view out the front. Here we're coming up on the wonderful little town of uh, Holbrook. Uh, you can see the highway going past the town, bypassing it to the west. Uh, thought this was a good time to say something about this trip. It's been a fantastic trip. Uh, prepared for the Icarus X series, but unfortunately that was postponed due to rain. So Matt arranged another trip, not the Icarus adventure. We headed off from Canberra, or attempted to take off out at Lake George, but it was too foggy so we had to drive west to get clear sky. We ended up taking off at Harden, uh, which was great at their little airport, council owned airport. A fantastic resource that the council provides. I ended up having an engine out at uh, uh, south of Putamundra, uh, but did a landing and uh, used one of Matt's spare spark plugs that he brought. I need to return that to him or buy a new one. Learned a lot on this flight. One is obviously to have several new spark plugs with me. Um, we then drove to uh, Lockhart or Matt flew quite a way. But I drove to Lockhart, took off from Hoffi's place, had planned to get to Gerildery Gir Airport, but uh, we had to divert due to fog, and ended up uh, landing at Oakland's. Uh, took off from Oakland's and then landed at Ardmona near Shepherd. That was quite a long day. Um, but fantastic. So spent the evening with Dale and his wife, uh, which was fantastic. Slept at Dale's place. Thank you again, Dale, and your wife. And now then we had a day of just looking at little towns in northern Victoria, Millawa, cheese and wine and drove to Lake Hume to the excellent Great Australian Caravan Park at Lake Hume. Took off from Lake Hume this morning about 8, and it's probably 9.30 now. Just flying over Holbrook. I'll give you a better view of it. You can see it down there, the golf course and the oval little industrial area and then the airport must be out on the other side. There you can see the view out the front. Uh, that is on quite a faster glider than I am. I can see him is a little bit lower than me but just in line with the Hume Highway that you can see in the distance. We've just passed Holbrook and our goal in this leg is to get to Tarkata, which we probably should in about an hour. Land there, refuel, maybe have some lunch. Take off from Tarkata behind the pub and fly to Jugion. Uh, 
stay there tonight and then fly hopefully into Canberra. I'll just turn around a bit. You can see there's a pocket of fog out to the east. You should be able to see that now. Uh, that's going up into the mountains towards Tubert. And but we're very glad we've got no fog in front of us at all. You can see there's some smoke down there. So the wind is still blowing easterly down low, but at our altitude it is blowing uh, west. So we've got a, a little bit of a tailwind, but flying crosswind. Overall, a fantastic trip, which ended at the Tarkata pub. Thanks to Chris and Alex's excellent driving and Matt's planning. And thanks also to Andrew Polidano from Polyglide and Jan Smith for getting a replacement line to me.